Now this, this is an ultrasound study sent uh, to rule out any fetal anomaly because the patient shows these larger four dates and uh, there is, uh, we do see polyhydramnios as uh, the, the, the amount of fluid is significantly much more than the expected normal for the gestational age and the gestational age while this being the female corresponds to the gestational now the female length corresponds to the gestational age of approximately 26 weeks as uh, the female measures another measurement of the femur. So 27 weeks uh, is the gestational age and the largest uh, huge pocket measures. So this is the largest huge pocket, uh, single largest huge pocket in this uh, amniotic huge pocket. And you see it measures 14.3, which is uh, significantly much more than the expected normal. And uh, it coincides with the <coughs> diagnosis of hydramnios, polyhydramnios. This is the fetal head and you see a double line across the cranium. So we cannot get the bifidal diameter in this particular case because uh, the cranium is surrounded by another ecogenic line, it's a fluid surrounding the cranium. The anatomy of the head is uh, distorted as you can see however the facial features show normality this is the eye This is the cranium, this white bright ecogenic line, this is the head, the internal anatomy of the head is poorly defined and this black line surrounded by an ecogenic line is suggestive of uh, edema around the skull and uh, overlapping of the skull bones as well, it's uh, quite obvious. 
Now, just for uh, academic point of view, if I try to get the bifrical diameter, let's see, what do we get? Well, it's okay, it gives 26 weeks, rather 27 from outer to in a, the initial one was in early 27 weeks. So it coincides with the femur length. But this, this hype, uh, anechoic line, this fluid line, and an equigenic area around the training is, uh, now the internal anatomy of the brain is not totally distorted. If you see, this is the fox cerebri. But it's not so clearly visualized. However, now I can see, yes. This is the CSPs. These are the thalami. This is the fox cerebri. And this is the mental cortex. Uh, so the internal anatomy is fine. The internal anatomy of the brain that initially was being seen as being uh, distorted uh, or abnormal is absolutely normal. No deletion of uh, the ventricle is seen. Head circumference measures 241 millimeter corresponds to 26 weeks of gestational age and uh, occipital frontal diameter. This is not the correct measurement. Occipital frontal diameter corresponds to 26 weeks gestational age. So in total we are getting 26 weeks gestational age. So the head is normal except for uh, the edema around the head. The uh, anatomy of the internal anatomy of the head is normal. The facial, uh, the facial features are fine. It is no, no. This is the face of the features. This is the these are the facial features. This is the eye, and we do see normality in regarding this area. Now, this is the fetal hand that shows normal five digits, one, two, three, four, five. So digits are what about the abdomen? This is a rather transfer section of the abdomen. Let's see, what do we get? What measurement do we get? 25 weeks. There was some discrepancy in my performance for performing the uh, abdominal circumference, having gone to the stomach bubble first. This is the stomach bubble, this area. This is the stomach bubble and from here I should have gone transverse, 90 degree. And then add the uh, right for the transfer section. But I'll do it again if possible. Okay. Where is the placenta? This is the placenta. This is the placenta. Grade 2 to 3 placental lac is seen. This is the this anterior segment placenta. 
now if you see that there is a very interesting thing that uh, one really rarely sees and that is the beaded umbilical cord. See, this is the placenta, grade 2, and this area is the placenta. And if you see that the placenta is showing beaded appearance, knots or beads. And uh, remember that uh, this is the this is the fetal abdomen. And this is the place from where the umbilical cord is originating. And, and, I mean, uh, yes. and this is the place because the umbilical cord uh, has one end with the placenta and the other with the fetal body. So you see that the uh, placenta at one end is with the uh, umbilical cord is at one end with the umbilical cord and the other end it is with the abdominal uh, with the abdomen of the this is the umbilical region of the abdomen fetal abdomen this is the umbilical cord again these are the bones the bones are normally calcified there is no curving of the bones. Here. Now this is the abdomen, a magnified view of the fetal abdomen. There is no anomaly relating to the neck of the fetus. I showed you the area of the heart and uh, so far this I am not seeing any cardiac activity. No cardiac activity. This is uh, intrauterine fetal demise because you see that the abdominal uh, structures are not uh, that clearly visualized. This is the chest, this is the chest, this is the diaphragm, this is the liver, this is the diaphragm, this is the chest and this is the liver. Is there any movement of the fetus? I will keep the probe here for a while and would like to see if uh, 
we see the movement of the limbs or the whole movement. Now see the movement of the abdomen. You see there is fluid within the abdomen as well. This black line, this is the wall of the abdomen, it is thick and there is a there is fluid within the abdomen. These are the abdominal uh, organs, especially this one is the liver. So this is and, and a study of uh, fit, and that was the one of the reasons why I was uh, the, our, we couldn't get the proper. Uh, uh, Abdominal circumference, you know, the abdominal circumference is the only measurement which is showing 25 weeks. So IUGR is uh, understandable, keeping in view the, now these are abdominal organs gathered together and this is the fluid within the abdomen, the wall of the abdomen is so thick, there is no movement whatsoever in the fetus and the fetal lie is transverse. This is a transverse fetal lie with absolutely no fetal movement. Transverse lie because of now this is a case of uh, intrauterine fetal demise at 26 weeks gestational age because uh, and IUGR and uh, the reason is this umbilical cord which is beaded, bead shape or it has knots with polyhydramnios. You see, this is the largest new pocket. And the fetus is pushed with the posteriorly, with the posterior wall of the uterus by the significant amount of fluid uh, by, that is uh, the cause of pushing the fetus with the posterior wall. While keeping the probe there and we are not able to see any movement except when I move the probe myself. No fetal movement. No cardiac activity. No breathing. Little movement that you are seeing is because of the uh, mother, the mother's movement, breathing movements. Otherwise, the fetus is not moving. No movement of the limbs. Normally, at this stage, the fetus is very active and you will not see these uh, uh, limbs at one place. It becomes difficult to uh, grasp a good view. Here you see the child is not active at all. So, as I started the ultrasound, I had a different impression as we went on performing the ultrasound. We have come to the country and it is very different conclusion that uh, this is a case of intrauterine fetal demise at uh, 26 weeks gestational age at the co and polyhydramnios because of the same reason uh, and the cause is the beaded or knotted uh, umbilical cord. Is there any sign of fetal distress? 
the fetus go into distress. Meconium. Yes, we do we see meconium? You see, when you see, uh, whenever you see a double line or double cranial, it is always suggestive of uh, intrauterine fetal demise, and along with it, you can see there is overlapping of the fetal bones, the skull, fetal skull bones. This is a very rare case, very rare even one comes across and I am going to magnify to show you the very apparent of the uh, umbilical cord. Now this is the umbilical cord. Now this is the umbilical cord, this structure, this linear structure. The umbilical cord. A magnified view. So there is no meconium seen which rules out any possibility that the fetus went to do. Uh, there was any fetal distress. And this is the cause. So now, here we see there is polyhydramnios, there is fetal demise, there is no fetal activity seen, and there is no cardiac uh, activity seen. The, there is beaded form of uh, uh, umbilical cord which is collapsed totally, no vessels, no patent vessels seen, which is usually two or three one vein. And uh, there, this uh, gives us the total story of this case with polyhydramnios, where umbilical cord is the cause for uh, the development of all the findings that we did see. And this is our case of the day. Very rare case, rarely seen. This is the face of the fetus, the head of the fetus. This is the face, eye, mouth, body, limb. This is body, this is the umbilical cord, this is the placenta. Thank you very much.